Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will be looking at the effectiveness of oral vitamin A in the treatment of acne. One of the most effective ways of managing acne is the use of isotretinoin, which is popularly called Accutane in the US and Roaccutane in the UK. Vitamin A in high doses may be an alternative to this medication. Let's look at the evidence behind this. Prior to the approval of isotretinoin, vitamin A was used to treat acne. The successful management of acne with vitamin A was in fact published as early as 1943. Isotretinoin actually is a retinoid derivative based on the molecular structure of vitamin A. In this article published last year, the authors reviewed all the previous reports of vitamin A treatment of acne. Let's look at the results. There were nine trials in total. Of these, eight showed an improvement in acne when using vitamin A. The doses ranged from 36,000 international units a day to 500,000 international units a day. Treatment varied from one to seven months. The mean duration of treatment before improvement was noted varied between seven weeks and four months. Recurrence of acne after treatment was seen in about 33%, which is fairly good as 70% remained clear. What are the side effects of vitamin A? It's similar to isotretinoin. The commonest are dry lips and dry skin. The higher the dose, the more the side effects. It can also increase the triglyceride levels, one of the fat levels in the blood. Sometimes the liver enzymes may be raised, but this reverts back to normal within two to three weeks of stopping the vitamin just as it does for isotretinoin. It can also be harmful if taken during pregnancy. So the same precautions taken for isotretinoin, including dual contraception, needs to be adhered to as it is a teratogenic drug, which means it's dangerous for the fetus. The dosage of vitamin A that is helpful varies between 50,000 international units to 300,000 international units a day. Most studies recommend a dose of about 100,000 international units a day. There are over-the-counter capsules of vitamin A that are available in units of 5,000 to 25,000 international units in each capsule. They are very cost-effective as vitamin A capsules are just one-tenth the cost of isotretinoin. The authors recommend that if isotretinoin is not available, then oral vitamin A is a useful way of treating acne and other conditions. However, there are potential limitations too. The studies showing the efficacy of vitamin A date back to the 1940s and 50s and long-term use of this medication can cause toxicity as it accumulates in the body. The final conclusion of the review article is that vitamin A is a possible alternative to isotretinoin. The risks, however, will need to be accepted by the consumer as it has potential side effects too. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.